Well, Georgia defensive lineman Barry Alexander has entered his name to the transfer portal. We need to talk about it, but if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. By doing so, it greatly helps out my channel, and it helps me grow as a content creator. Uh, this came as a shocking, you know, uh, decision by Barry Alexander to uh, leave Georgia right now. Uh, Georgia just coming off of two back-to-back -back national championships. And um, he was going to get significant playing time, I feel, while he was at Georgia. Um, Georgia recruits at a very, very high level. And uh, they're going to have a guy, some guys, two guys to replace him. But, uh, you know, the dogs are losing Jalen Carter this upcoming season to the NFL. And um, they're going to need somebody in the middle of that defense. They still got Nazir Stackhouse and uh, what's his name, Zion Logue. But uh, once he ends the transfer report, that's going to be tw a 12th player that Georgia has lost. Uh, it's part of the game now, you know, players uh, enter the transfer portal. But uh makes you wonder, you know, uh, he would have got significant playing time. You know, would have had a chance at three peeing. Uh As a freshman, he had 163 defensive snaps as a true freshman uh, last season. And he had nine tackles and he had three tackles for loss and two sacks. And um, he had a pretty good game against TCU uh, in their matchup in the national championship. Uh, he was a 56th ranked prospect in the 2022 class in the number five defensive tackle. And um, really, really good player, you know, uh, beast of a player in the middle of that defense. And, um, you know, this is the first, you know, the reopening the transfer portal for the spring. And, um, you know, it just make you wonder, you know, uh, was it an NIL deal? Um Two of the two schools that they're talking about that he might be going to is USC and Texas. Uh, USC, of course, um, as far as NIL, uh, USC is one of the great schools where, you know, you can get a lot of good deals with them. But uh, the other school, Texas, uh, Georgia already lost wide receiver Adani Mitchell to Texas. And uh, they have that one of the schools that, uh, Barry Alexander might be going to, and um, you know, both of those schools are, you know, uh, they have a lot of money, you um, know, but it makes you wonder, was it the NIL? Uh, what was it, you know, what what's making him want to enter the transfer portal? Is it, you know, the depth chart? Like I said, it can't be depth chart in my opinion. Uh, I felt like he definitely would have got some playing time uh, this season, so maybe it was, you know, an NIL deal or something like that, but we never know. Uh, we, we don't know these things. We just know these players going to the transfer portal. But uh, that's the name of the game now. Uh, my Alabama Crimson Tide has some players leave as well. You know, uh, it's just interesting, you know, when things like this happen, you know, especially on a team like Georgia that just uh, having great success, and especially on, you know, a team where you would have got a lot of playing time, you know, beast of a player. But uh, I just wanted to report on that. I thought that was – uh, kind of odd, but that's the name of the game now. And uh, and just because he entered the transfer portal doesn't mean that he will, you know, actually go to another school. But uh, as of right now, they're talking like he might go to USC or Texas. But uh, it could be another school out there on the radar, his radar as well. But uh, what do you guys think? What do you Georgia fans think? Uh, do you think this is going to be a massive blow to your team? Uh, let me know in the comment section. And once again, guys, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.